Good morning, everyone. Today in this video, I am making my crock pot whole chicken. I have some errands to run today and I know once I get back in, I am not gonna feel like making dinner. And I know many of us can relate. Don't you hate when you have a full day and you forget to throw something either in the crock pot or to prepare the night before. And then you get back in at the end of the day and you're like, what's for dinner? Or you have to stop and pick up something and waste unnecessary money. Well, that's why somebody, some amazing person created the crock pot. Use it. <laughs> Now, everything is not good in the crock pot, but once you get the hang of it, you'll be grateful for it. I know I am. So what I have here is my whole chicken mm -mm -mm, that I just picked up this morning while I was out at the store. I had to drop the kids off at school, so I said, why not swing by? I didn't have anything thawed out. So, all right, I'm going to show you really briefly what I'm going to use for my spicy chicken. You can season your chicken with whatever you want. Keep in mind the Lipton soups, they are so good to use and you don't have to use that brand, but like the one I showed you, the savory herb and garlic, keep that in mind. You can do all types of things with chicken as far as flavoring. You don't have to stick with the basics. So first I'm gonna rub mine down with some of this uh, Frank's Red Hot. I love this hot sauce. It's probably one of my favorites, but I have like six different ones in my cabinet. I love my cayenne pepper. We're gonna give it some kick. Now, y'all know Alana won't be eating any of this. She's going to eat some leftover spaghetti. I have my total seasoning, and the reason I'm using this one is because this is serving as my all-purpose. So, it has the garlic in it. It has a little pepper and things like that, a little onion powder. I have my Greek all-purpose. I just love this on everything. It just works. It's just one of those things. And then I have my crushed red pepper. And then just for a little color, I throw in the parsley. We all know parsley has no flavor. It's just there to make stuff look better, right? All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, I already have my crock pot on high. I'm gonna cook mine on high. Here, I just have those seasonings I just showed you all. And this is my hot sauce. So the first thing you wanna do is just go ahead and rub your chicken down. Now, if you're not gonna make it hot, you can choose to rub it down with either olive oil or butter. That's up to you. Now, normally I would let this uh, hot sauce sit and marinate or whatever I'm using as my uh, base seasoning, but we didn't have time today. No problem. So next, I'm going to add on my seasonings. All right, so I have both sides seasoned. I have it just on my hand here because I didn't want my seasonings to fall off by setting it down. So now I'm just going to go ahead and place it right in the crock pot. You do not need, I'm sorry, I guess you all can't see that. You do not need to add any liquids to your crock pot because your, your meat is going to create its own liquid. Now, unless you want to, but you don't need to. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and set this inside of my crock pot, you know, the base part, and we're going to cook it. And so when I come back from my day, I'm going to show you all the finished product. I want to show you all the finished product of my crock pot hot chicken whole chicken and it was so tender it just came apart I was trying to take it out for y'all to show you <laughs> it is just falling apart but oh my goodness now mine stayed in for five hours you only need four on high or you can do it on low for about six to eight hours it's up to you depending on what you like so that's just an idea I'm not gonna try it right now because I'm drinking coffee and this is hot so I just want to show you all this idea of course you could do whatever you want uh, the flavor of your hot chicken oh it just smells so good my whole house smells amazing so I just want to thank you all so much for watching and you have a wonderful blessed day